I'm unhappy. That's why I want the world to know I'm unhappy. That's not something to blame. This is a personality to have pity for. This is a personality to wish him. Hopefully he will find his peace one day. Some people will say there are things that can never be forgiven. Number one, they will be forgiven. And number two, this statement, it's only gonna make your heart, your life harder. Because the person who caused the trouble to you, maybe he's right now even lying somewhere in Hawaii, having a great time. He did that mistake that you suffered, but you are the one right now, still sitting here, not forgiving, suffering, while he is enjoying his party. Something's wrong about that view. If he made the mistake, he should be the one suffering, but not you. So what does it mean if you don't find a way to let it go? It remains with you and you suffer with it. It's your choice. What is the alternative? Revenge is another field, but revenge is not gonna recreate balance. Why? Because at least in our tradition we say, nowhere in this whole world did hate ever ended hate. Somebody hates you, you hate back, it's not gonna end it. Nowhere. Hate is never the solution for hate. Now it sounds so fluffy, but just like the Buddha said, there's only one reason, one way how to end the hate by its counterpart, by understanding. Hate wants to separate, hate wants to cut off. The opposite of it is you have the force, you want to combine, you want to connect. And it's the harder way of having compassion with the person that gives you hate. And it's even harder to even start to develop the feeling of love towards that person. That's why we call it, it is a practice. Mahapu position, inhale and close. In 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 and down. Inhale and exhale. Close the body. Huh? You close the body, now you tense the body, and you bring everything into the center. You lock, you lock yourself for a moment. So what you are doing is, on the inhalation, the body is very, very open. Because it's open, you can receive. And after it is open, now we need to practice to not only receive now we only uh, also need to use what we receive. So you shoot, you lock it, you lock it into the center. So again, this exercise, yeah, big movement, opening, and then close and tense up the body. Use the stance. You have tension throughout your whole body, legs, upper torso, arms, mind. Also, focus from here. Inhale and go. One and go. In and close. In and close. In. And close. In. And close. One. Down. Two. Three. Four. 
泼。Body a little bit. Once you have the possibility to go out and use more space, then you can use all of the exercises that we did this week and start to make them bigger, to make them more dynamic, to add more details, to add more color to it. Now let's take for example only the marble. And the last exercise that we just did. How can you practice it? Watch. Okay, so that means you can also include walking with the exercises. Good. Overall, very good way is to practice push-ups. Just start to do more push-ups. Yeah. For example, let me give you a short overview. Yes. Yeah. Here. And yes, at the same time, you can move the fist. So, very basic. First of all, you just do it on the palm of your hand. You can also do it on the ground, but this way right now was more easy. And afterwards, you can also do it on the fists. Now, integrate this. Start on the first day. Ten push-ups. Second day, maybe fifteen. Third day, twenty, and then increase. At the same time. Always, when you are starting to do something in order to strengthen the body, also find the right balance and lose the body, lose yourself up afterwards. So you see, when we do a lot of the marble stances, then afterwards we are also rotating the hip again, shaking our legs again. So also find the right balance between doing. Exercises to strengthen the body, and on the other side to open the body, because openness on the one side, no, it's not on the one side. Openness and strength, they are on the same side.